But real quick, on a, another note, two of your former players, uh, Chandler Parsons and Delonte West, uh, are going through some unfortunate uh, times at the moment. Do you have any uh, statement or comments that you'd like to say about their situations? Yeah, I was asked about Parsons yesterday. Uh, I've heard since then that he's doing very well. He's fine. Um, has a concussion, I think, but was very lucky. Um, uh, the Del Delonte West um, situation, I, I know there's a video out there. I have not seen it yet. Um, uh, I've heard it's it's a very sad situation, um, and you know Delonte was here for a period of time. I don't know the exact period of time. He was here, I think, for at least a year, and in a training camp. Uh, I got to know him well. Um, you know, I uh, you know I, I I think we all feel bad that he's in the situation that he's in, um, and. You know, the hope is that, that he will get help. And uh, you, know, you never like to see any human being going through something like that. It's your heart kind of go out to a guy like Parsons after he had those big years and used, he just hasn't really been able to catch a break since then physically? Yeah. No, it's, he's been unlucky. Um, he's a terrific player. You know, he had two really good years here. Um, and then, you know, the second year, uh, got difficult as the, the injury thing hung around and, and lingered again. Um, but he's a smart guy. Uh, he certainly has done well, you know, with his contracts and stuff. And, uh, and he'll, he'll find, you know, he'll, he'll find a niche be, once he gets done with basketball. And I don't know that he's done with basketball. Um, but uh, he's a guy that, uh, People around here, when you mention his name, you know, there's people smile. I mean, they, he was he, he had a he had a memorable two years. And he's a engaging guy that uh, has a great uh, IQ for the game of basketball, and and when healthy, was was a really fun player to to both play with and watch. You guys had a really nice stretch defensively at the end of the game the other night against Portland. After checking out, what were some of the reasons that led to that kind of defensive success at the end of the game? Well, we, we did some good things with aggression. Um, you know, we got a steal or two. Um, you know, I, I think <clears throat> also, uh, you know, our depth wore on them a little bit. I think fatigue came into play for them. Um, and, you know, that's one reason you build, try to try to build a, a roster with, with a lot of depth. So, um, you know, that was a tough game. Um, and, you know, these games, you know, in mid to late January are challenging for everybody, you know, because uh, you're, you're into the, the real grind of the season. You know, you're, you're, you're at a point where you're, you know, beyond the midpoint, you know, the all-star game's coming around the corner and, and it's just, you know, it's really important to stay focused. Soon, you would think soon is going to catch or maybe pass Jay Kidd's franchise record for triple doubles. Is, is that particular feat uh, amaze you, astonish you, or is it not? Is it just? Is yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's a. Uh, now, is that for triple doubles career or in a season or career? Career. Yeah, yeah. career. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's out of this world, you know. But, you know. The, his focus is on winning. It's not on stats. Um, my focus is on the team and winning and not on stats. Um, that said, it's, you know, the statistical aspect of this is something that's very much out there. It's very much um, flies around social media um, at, you know, breakneck speed. And uh, it's, it's, it's a big topic. And, uh, and people are fascinated by it and, you know, um, and I understand the fascination with it, but if you listen to him, he's not interested in stats. He's interested in the team and, and trying to win games. And that's that's even more cool than triple doubles. Are triple doubles a reflection of being more interested in the team? Do you think just by nature? Triple doubles, to me, are a, uh, a reflection of productivity and the ability to impact the game in several key statistical categories, and those are winning statistical categories.
Hey there, NBA fans. For exclusive NBA content, subscribe to Fanatics View YouTube down below.